Hello and welcome back everyone to the Barks Farm Girl YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So I just want to introduce first Charles Cam talking about direct drilling and ploughing. Then there's loads of straw moving in this video. We try and move 700 bales in a day. And it goes back to this thing about vegans and whatnot. There's a lot of pressure to reduce livestock. So the government's going along this uh, whole route of, oh, direct drilling, it's better for soil health, ploughing's terrible, 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 but is our soil really that terrible if we've been ploughing it for every year for the past 15 years or something, and we've still got big worms like that? I, I don't think it's that unhealthy whatsoever. And you can also see the effect of the worms on the surface here already, because we have worm casts like this, and that's actually a really big worm cast. You can see by the size of my finger. It, the worms are a really good indicator of a healthy soil, so hopefully right here we've got a really healthy one, um, which is probably due to the fact that we've had grass. And it goes back to this thing about vegans and whatnot, there's a lot of pressure to reduce livestock, less livestock, but ultimately, you know, we've had grass, we've had a lot of muck, uh, farmyard manure applied to this land and it shows because it's so healthy. If you reduce the amount of livestock, so we didn't have these grass, we just grew um, wheat and barley and uh, obviously rape on this land, it would be nowhere near as healthy as it is after having those five years of grass and all of that farmyard manure applied. Massive, it's probably about four centimetres high or something, which is indication of a really big, really active worm. Most worm casts would be sort of that sort of size, but we've got some proper big ones like that because there's just so much organic matter in the land from all of the muck. The worms are super active and it's also showing there's quite a lot of them because there's worm casts all over there. They're, they're just everywhere really, which, you know, an indicator of a really good healthy soil. Another super interesting thing is here there's been some compaction clearly. You can see there's been a tractor or something probably dad with his spray running along here. And there's clearly been some water sat in this area. But even in the area where it's been water sat and where it's compacted, and like I say, this is heavy clay soil, very heavy clay soil, there's still tons of little wormholes. And that's probably what's drained the water, because the worms are actually providing the drainage for us, that's then taking that water away, and they're restructuring the soil. And despite all of the claims that, oh, you only get good stru soil structure if you are direct drilling and not disturbing it. I just wanted to pop this in because how cute it is it? But thank you again, Charles. And thanks again, Charles Cam, for coming in. More Charles Cam coming soon. But now we go back to harvest and in the grain store. I get to stand here and uh, show you on online, but I just don't have to do anything. <laughs> we, we've done this. Okay, I think I can brush that now. Faster! <laughs> Now we've had our team of brushes, it's time to weigh the lorry. Well, that's brilliant, it all fit in one lorry. Look at these puddles. <coughs> Sheds being stacked out nicely. Dan's puffing and huffing. Right, Luce? Yeah, you. Mayhem down here, isn't there? <laughs> Let's get Ben gone. Mind Jack's way.
So we've got 450 bales to collect and so we've worked out that's about three trailers each. You can get roughly 44 on each trailer. So first thing I do when the I start getting loaded is put all my straps lined out, all my ratchets, so I can literally then just go along and go boom, boom, boom. Strap, strap, strap. One, two, Three, four, five. Can't find my other one, we'll get it later. Look at the ratchet. Oh, what a like squeezing out of it. Come on. Ugh. So, finished strapping. Look at my hair. Right, let's go. That was soggy. You can see all the water coming off the ratchet strap. Right, it's all done. Let's head back and unstrap. Look at my finger. It's just soaking already. Made it back to the yard. The corn lorry's uh, being loaded and corn's going out, which is good. Get some cash flow, flow running through the business again. Just have to wait the lorry. It's all going on. We've got four much breaders arrived. Grain going out. Uh, lorry, I just loaded, weighed a lorry, so the lorry's coming up. Straw down there to unload. Straw to go and fetch. Ah, it doesn't stop. in a queue for waiting to be loaded and these ladies walked past and they said why don't you turn your tractors off now the answer for this is the reason we don't and I said this to them is our trailers are powered like air, air trailers they have airs for, air for brakes and on a, a, a certain few trailers if as soon as you switch the tractor off it then takes about five minutes for the air to build up now when Billy's finished loading, we want to be like snappy, like next person, next person, next person. And if we have to then wait for five to seven minutes for our air to build up, then it's not quick snappy, we don't get a lot done, and it is, it, we, it's just what we do. So that is why if you see us all in a queue waiting, uh, it only takes like, what, two, three minutes, maybe five, to load a, a, a trailer. So turning our airline, our tractors off, so our trailers won't move, just won't work. Because without air in our tires, our trailer will literally drag. We can't move it. Or we can, but we can drag it, but it's not very good, is it? So that is the answer. Made it back. Oh, look, the shed being stacked out. Right, it's time to quickly unstrap. Oh, damn, we want the back ones done first. Oh, look at all this mud. Back ones, back ones, back ones. He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. Back ones, back ones, back. Come on. Oh, I've got unrolled straps, but in all my rat, uh, ropes. Fell in the water and the mud. And now my hands are all gritty and lovely. So I just pick up my ratchets. So, oh, funny hair. Mum's gonna be cross. <laughs> um, made it back with my fourth wife. We've trying to shift 700, we had a bit of a delay this morning because of the grain lorries. Anyway, disaster. Um, a thing I do my thumbnails on has broken. So, seeing if I can fix that before this evening, I have an hour. But it just, I don't know, it's had like a crash or something. So, that's one disaster, but we haven't had any other disasters, which is brilliant. Nice, it's running quite smoothly. I am desperate for a wee. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get into the yard, run to the house, then go straight down, unstrap, and back out for another load. What's that? Oh, 
what's the time now? Four o'clock. Oh no, it mean, that means it's an hour and 45 minutes to my video. Because I like to put them out at 5.45. So that's a bit better, panic over. Here comes Ben. Yep, that's Ben. That's Glenn. I don't know which one it is. Ben or Glenn. You can see the shed just there on over there. It's coming out, uh, it's filling up nicely. And also you see the muck spreader. I don't think you can see them in this video. The muck spreader is over there waiting for us. And we're now full up. The barn is full. Officially full. I'm strapping again. Come on. There we go. Then you go up. Click. Pull. pull Thank you for watching. Pull, Next time pull. we try and move even more bales and the stack gets bigger and bigger. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See ya.